Hey everyone, it's Jessie from Peach Manifesto, and welcome to another empties video. So, this empties video is very, like, on the pedicure side. I went through a lot of pedicure stuff uh, this time, so that's really what it's pretty much focused on. So I thought I would start off with kind of like one of my um, favorite items, I guess. And this is the... I use these for pedicure bags and these are the multi-purpose clear plastic bags eight pound and they're seven inches by three inches by 16 inches and there's a hundred bags in a box you can pick these up for super cheap like uh, we have like a like a warehouse club type thing and they sell stuff to stores and you usually pick up this box for three bucks um, often you can find these at distributors too but um, the warehouse club does sell them for very cheap and they have like the option to like open them up this way or open them up this way with the dotted lines. I like it this way because I just pull them out uh, when I pour my paraffin wax in them and then put uh, my client's feet in them. So that works really well for me. I have since repurchased. Um, they have different labeling now though because these used to be Ronco but now they start something with a V. Anyway, um, and then I went through a big tub of my sugar scrub. Um, I have since reordered the big size and I've picked up a small size. The distributor that I do get this from only keeps the small size in stock and so I like ran out. Man, like this season I feel like everybody is escaping the polar vortex. They're booking warm vacations so they're getting pedicures before they go. Um, so I've been going through sugar scrub like crazy and with that, okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six bags of paraffin. I uh, always have paraffin in back stock. Um, I just go through a lot of it with pedicures, and I always buy the peach paraffin. I just like the way it smells. Um, and then, another thing with pedicures, I've gone through um, the Gel Lotion by BCL Spa. And this is their uh, Mandarin Mango. I, there's like still a little bit in there. I can try and maybe get it out, but that's if I have time. Um, I love this stuff for like the leg and foot massage. It stays really like slippy. I know that's not really a word, but it's really good for like the leg massage and the foot massage part of the pedicure. And it smells really nice. I always like to use really nice smelling stuff for pedicures. It just really, I feel like, enhances the experience. And then these. These are uh, like the wrappers for um, the reusable, or not the reusable, the stick-on uh, file things. I think I have the packages here. So like the silk line adhesive filing pads. So this was the 120, 180. I went through one pack of each um, I'm not going to repurchase these again. Um, they worked fine. Uh, the thing I liked about them is the same thing I didn't like about them. They came off easily. Um, which is nice because I've had ones that you are like literally like picking the sticker off piece by piece by piece, which is a pain in the butt. And if so, it was nice that it came off easily, but they also come off too easily so sometimes they'd be coming off while you're filing people's feet um so they just go on the stainless steel foot files um i'm not going to be reprinting those and i'm probably not going to be using my stainless steel foot files the reusable stick on pad ones uh just because i started using uh foot logics that's like a metal one and I'll probably just like show you a picture of one. I'll insert a picture of it. I like. Using that one instead. Um, I don't have to worry about the pads falling off. I can stick it completely in my sterilizer solution. It fits perfectly. It's all stainless steel. So I don't have to worry about it not being able to be cleaned at all. And. Yeah, so that's that. I, I'm probably just going to sell those other ones, I'm sure, or keep them around in case I need them. I don't know. So I've also gone through one, two, three, four, five bags of cotton rounds. 
I've been using a lot of them. Um, as you know, like I do a lot of stamping, I do electrolysis, and now that I do the lash lift and tints, I use them quite a bit. Um, they're really handy for like removing um, the the perm solutions and removing um, the makeup before they come and removing the tint. Um, I've been doing a lot of brow tints, so like the cotton rounds are just kind of all round useful for all that kind of stuff. And that's pretty much it for, oh, one thing, one last thing for the pedicure. So I, ugh, this old beastie. So this is my old paraffin warmer. Um, giant beast of a machine. Had it for probably 12 years. Um, and it just finally kicked the bucket. Unfortunately, it was when I was doing a pedicure. So that kind of sucked that they didn't get the paraffin part of their service, but they were still okay with it. Um, so I ran out, bought another one almost immediately afterwards, and luckily it was on sale, so it was kind of like perfect timing. If it was going to break, it could break when there's one on sale. So whatever, got a new one, love it. It's actually a little bit smaller, but I like it because it fits in the spot that I have it a bit better. Um, also, I went through a trial size of the Fusion 5 Undercover. Um, I really liked, I like literally, there's like a dribble left. I scraped to the bottom of it. I really like it. It's my new favorite cover pink. It self levels. It's flexible. I do like a more flexible gel. I find um, it just wears better on the majority of my clients. Um, and it's a really pretty pink. I have since purchased in a much larger size and I will probably keep continuing to purchase it because I just really like it. Um, also, I have gone through these two little bags, which are swatch rings. So each of these bags holds 50. So I've gone through a hundred little swatch rings. Um, it's new colors, um, replacement of old ones that have broken. Um, my kids do kind of like to steal these sometimes, so it is what it is. And then I've also gone through um, safe masks. I don't use these a lot. I usually use them if I'm sick or my client's sick just to protect myself or protect them. Um, sometimes if I'm doing um, a long appointment of electrolysis where I'm like really in their face, I'll put it on too, just because it's kind of annoying to have someone just like breathe right on your face while they're working so close to you. Uh, so I've gone through a box of that. I've since repurchased. Um, but yeah, like I don't go through them a lot, so it probably will last me a really long time. Uh, I've also gone through a dust brush. Uh, one of these, side, I think it was like a Onyx or something that I got it from Can West. They were like three bucks. Uh, it's just got like so dirty that I couldn't clean it anymore and I just have another one already. I, this one actually is from Billboard. I got it in one of my uh, my winnings when I won uh, in one of the categories I competed at Nail Master. So it was nice. I kind of had like a backup already. Didn't have to go and purchase one. And I went through a binder. Uh, I just got a cheap binder from the dollar store and it's like coming apart. And that's what I put my stickers and my foils and stuff in. I've since repurchased. There is a video that I can link um, of how I store all my stickers and files now. And it's actually in a zip-up binder, which I like a little bit better because sometimes those things can pop out of the top of the binder. And I didn't like that. So it was a cheap binder. I already have a new one. Uh, I have also gone through, as usual, my Enhance Clear. I always go through one of these. I'm actually near the bottom of my other one, um, but I still got a little bit left. Uh, also gone through a Shine On top coat, one of my favorite tack free top coats, and X Bond, my favorite bonders. So this is like my holy grail, Enhance, X Bond, and Shine On. Just like, works amazing for me, love it. Can't say enough about it. It's amazing. Um, I've also gone through a Young Nails Protein Bond. I mostly just use this for acrylic. Um, I do use it on a couple problem problem clients. Uh, 
but mostly just for acrylic nails. It works really well and um, for the amount that Young Nails wants you to use this, they could put it in a bigger package. Like this little thing is so tiny and it knocks over and the brush kind of sucks on it. But I love it. Like I'm not going to stop repurchasing it. But my other bonder, for instance, comes in a nice big bottle that doesn't fall over all the time. You know, young nails, give us bigger bottles that don't fall over because I think the re half the reason I have this in here so soon is because I've knocked it over and spilled some occasionally. So another thing I go through pretty much every time is my preempt CS20. Um, yeah, just use it all the time. Uh, it's your hospital grade disinfectant sterilization, um, high level. So that means your bactericide, viricide, fungicide, and tuberculicide. If it doesn't say tuberculicide, don't bother with it. Um, tuberculosis, tuberculosis is one of the hardest viruses to kill. So you want something that is going to kill that. So, um, acetone. I have backups, uh, but I go through a lot of it. Um, lots of stamping, as I've said before, love stamping. And like, you need acetone when you stamp. You could buy all the fancy stuff, but cheap acetone works fine. Um, a dust off, I almost always go through a dust off. There's just a lot of dust that gets created when you do nails. And of course, a vent for my Valentino. Um, pretty much always at least one of those in the empties. And then, coming near the end, uh, I also have this. Now this is the nail art display, false tips. Comes in a big box. There's like, it's like 200 count of clear. So what that is, is these guys. Yeah, I went through 200 of these. So a lot of it, has been recently why I've been going through a lot of these is I have been trying to switch over all of my swatch sticks to just one size and all clear but as you can see this one still has some tan ones on it are natural um, it just makes it easier especially for swatch videos if they're all kind of at the same level uh, when I'm trying to do comparisons so it didn't bother me personally that some of them were different sizes but uh, it just makes it easier for videos, so I just started that process, which there is a lot of colors. It's a problem, and I, I'm not going to stop. So that's that, and then the rest are brushes. So this is an e.l.f. cosmetics brush that I get from Walmart. Um, I don't know if you can see, it is super kind of fluffed out. It's usually a lot more tight. And I use this for polish cleanup, um, not gel polish, but actual polish. So a lot of times when I do pedicures, some people want, um, they want just regular polish on their toes. They don't like gel polish for whatever reason. I refuse to do that in winter because I'm not about to have them smudge when they put their socks and boots and go into the snow. But um, for little girls and stuff, you have to do it, right? Um, and I just use this for like cuticle cleanup. It's like a dollar or something at Walmart. It works really good. But this one just got a little too poofy. So I got a new one. And then, I don't know, I think I found someone maybe gave me this brush. I don't know, I'm getting rid of it. Um, I did use it a little bit, I think for pigments or something. Uh, but it kinda, I cleaned it uh, with like alcohol, I think. And some of the blackness came from it. And now I'm just like afraid I'm gonna get like black on somebody's nails and it's gonna look stupid so I'm just getting rid of it and then just one of these this time um it's one of my gel brushes that I use for colors or glitter um I have a backup uh, like a back stock of these because I really do like them but I am gonna say that I've decided for my clear gels just to switch to the Accents 107. I haven't cured it yet. Um, I haven't mangled it because it doesn't have a lid. So I'm finding that 
the reason I went through so many of these is because I was just like ramming the lid on with my clear. And I find I don't necessarily cure my clear brush. I'm more likely to cure like my color or my glitter brush. I still have one of each, like one for my clear, one for my glitter. So I still will be purchasing these because these are like 50 cents. Sometimes on the high end they're 80 cents, but like whatever. Um, so I still will repurchase those. I have a back stack of them, so I don't need to. But yeah, that's that's my story. Um sticking to it. Thank you so much for watching this long video. I know I tend to do like little short videos. Um, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and we will see you all later. Bye-bye.